The Clippers number one. Now the thing I like is they're getting good shots every time down the floor and it's due to their unselfishness as a team. The Pistons shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. That free throw good from Tolliver. You know, oftentimes when you go on the road, you're going to have to win close games, and the Pistons really struggled in that regard, and as a result, they didn't find themselves winning too many on the road. And the Pistons making a change here. Caldwell Post checked in. Jennings dishes to Williams. Jennings against Crawford. Jennings drives in, plays it up and banks it in. Jennings has got nine. Guys for the Pistons, they are a young team overall, and that can be a factor in both road games and close games. Well, the nerves can get to you, or, or, you know, just a little bit of inexperience as well. The 12 and 29 road record for the Pistons last year. They know that's something they have to improve upon. Butler in the corner. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Jennings has got four assists now tonight. Griffin inside. He started by Williams. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Blake Griffin has been an all-star from his first season. He came in averaging 22 and 12. It's not always easy to improve, improve on numbers like that, but Griffin, bit by bit, is doing just that. Here's his check-in for the Clippers. And Detroit with a change here, too. Monroe's checked in. It's Jennings with the drive. Good. Jennings has got eight points here in this quarter. And he's shaken off a poor first quarter shooting effort. And he's really starting to turn it on now, guys. And Griffin improving offensively. The defense has come slow. He's, he's got short arms, so relatively speaking. But that limits him as a shot blocker. He can do better you know, avoiding cheap fouls and reacting more quickly in help situations. I'll tell you, with his work ethic, there's no reason he can't get there. Crawford passes to Griffin. From 11 feet away, come shot is good that time. Griffin's got 14 points for the game. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. What a finish with that hoop. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And the call will go against Anthony Tolliver. Los Angeles, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. The first one falls. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And you know, this lead is going to grow if they can continue to get to the free throw line. Monroe's shot is good. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Mark, just piling up points in the paint. Gets it off. Perfect. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. The Clippers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, one of the better free throw shooting teams in the NBA. They're hitting about 80% from the line this year. And we're through two here and a good one. The Clippers on top, leading by five. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Paul, how would you assess the team's performance on both sides of the ball thus far tonight? Well, I thought we turned the ball a little bit. We didn't get that. points and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well well it's no secret I mean the more points he can come up with from out there the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan Paul out there with Miller and it's Pierce and at the small forward position so that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers the drive by Jennings Brandon Jennings you remember decided to play a year in Italy right out of high school First guy to do that once the NBA implemented that one year out of high school requirement. He's perfect from the line this time. Clippers leading by five. 
Here's Miller. And oh, gives it right over Andre Clemens. Wow. And this sort of awesome bump is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Jennings against Paul. Jennings kicks to Meeks. Lock at six. Dishes to Drummond. Takes it off the glass. Drummond's got his second best. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Griffin goes in. And that one is stuck right through. He's their go-to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Pistons trail by seven. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. In to Drummond. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Here's Paul. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Paul's got four points in the quarter. Boy, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. Pass to Monroe. From seven. Can't get it to go. Griffin with some nice D. Paul dishes to Griffin. It's Pierce on the wing. Just his first attempt. And again, the Clippers good for two. They're rolling now. Five straight hoops to start this quarter. Pistons trail by 11. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Chris Paul with the best assist to turnover ratio in the league last season. And Led the league in steals per game as well for the sixth time in his career. You talk about the impact he has on a game. I mean, those numbers don't lie. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Well, over the break, I listened in on Stan Van Gundy's huddle. Their transition offense has to be a focal point. The points on the break are going to be crucial for the rest of this game. Also, he was just as passionate when he told them that they needed to put everything they have into their offensive rebounding. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half. And Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. Thanks again, Doris. Here's Griffin, and it's the Clippers scoring again. And Chris Paul's strength so under it. When you talk about his ability, Clark, to protect the ball offensively and great steals at the other end, that plays a big role, wouldn't you say? Yeah, strength is so valuable, no matter what position you play. Being a smaller point guard, his strength and quickness allow him to always be on balance. You know you see Chris Paul out of control or off balance, and that's part of his brilliance and greatness. Well, for one, he hasn't let him down. I mean, but a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. And it's no penetrating. Misses from close range. You know, typically, guys, he has the body control to finish when he's in that tight. I'm not sure what happened there. Jennings with the bucket. Yeah, he's been the key cog in their offense with the way he shot the ball. His percentage today beyond impressive. Certainly not his fault to score is what it is. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. He dishes it to Prince. It's back to Jennings. He feeds it to Prince. Six to shoot. It's Jennings with the drive. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Paul Pierce. Brandon Jennings so quick. Left hand and speed beam. You know, as quick as he is off the bounce, he's not as good of a finisher inside as you might expect. I think sometimes he makes those shots a little more difficult than they need to be. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Smith comes in for Jordan. And it's Johnson in for Paul Pierce. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Reggie Jackson's checked in for Jody Meeks. Jackson against Miller. Jennings drives in. Here's Monroe. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. 14 points for Greg Monroe. And for Jennings, it's not just finishing with the rim. His percentages from mid-range and in between have room for growth, too. He's tried to develop a floater, but working on those one or two dribble pull-ups should also be an area of focus for him. Monroe's shot is good. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Monroe on the double team. Miller, the pass to Johnson. Dish now to Griffin. 
fade away, and he gets it to go. Griffin's got six points in the quarter. We're talking about Jennings finishing inside, so much of that is a mastery of angles. Steve, I know you're really mesmerized by the whole study of angles and the way players attack certain defenses. Finding that space where the shot blocker can't get to. Yeah, geometry, Kevin. It's uh, fascinating. And, you know, you could benefit from watching a guy like Tony Parker. He's the master at beating the, the big man to the backboard by putting that shot up quickly uh, to use the rim to protect his shot. Miller, that's for two. They get it back. Smith kicks to Johnson. Oh, good with the triple. For the Los Angeles Clippers, they come in off a good outing against the Bucks in Milwaukee. They look very stable, pretty much from the get-go, guys. A solid output, solid effort. And sometimes you'll see some inconsistencies come up in the road game, but they were pretty solid there. I was very impressed with the balance they displayed, guys. Different people carrying the load, scoring, making assists, unselfish play. Everything was working for him to get that victory. Jennings kicks to Monroe. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Back to Griffin. Puts up the baby hook. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Blake Griffin doing all sorts of things. 25 points. And the contribution from the line for him, he's made five free throws. Uh, he hasn't been afraid to draw a little contact if the opportunity's been there. And I'll tell you, some guys shy away from that, not him. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. And Stevenson's checked in for Smith. And it's Crawford in for Miller. Then for the Pistons, Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for Miller. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Brandon Jennings. Reggie Jackson is really strong and athletic. An excellent driver and finisher, especially when working off the pick and roll. Crawford's shot is good. Ooh, they are killing him with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Here's Caldwell Pope. The kick outside to Butler. The feed to Jackson. Tipped away and taken away by Paul. He lobs it up. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. And the dunk by Jackson. It's a mammoth dunk for someone who's far from the biggest guy out there on the floor. Yeah, perhaps that'll give them the boost they're looking for to get out of the hole here. Yeah, it should. I mean, if that doesn't fire them up, I don't know what will. There's the bucket. Good. All well, Pope's got his third bucket of the night. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half, and I like that. A little smash mouth basketball. Take it inside. He had to fade back on that one, but still got it to go. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. The defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. And here comes Chris Paul. Shoots a fader, and it's good. But hold on, the officials may want to look at that one on the replay mod. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. A very important call here to make. It hopefully is pretty clear cut here on the tape for the official. But from where I sit, this is really hard to say. Pistons trail by nine and on the four for Detroit here in the fourth. Andre Drummond is out there with Karan Butler. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Jody Meeks, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the three. That's good. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Los Angeles. Now we've seen them make that extra effort rotating from the weak side, closing out on their airspace and sending shots back. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Craig Monroe, he's checked in for Detroit. And shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Los Angeles leading by 12. Oh, no one around him. Off target from outside. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Paul from 13.